Have you ever heard of the jump test for diagnosing appendicitis in children? Intriguing, isn't it? This simple yet effective method can help determine if a child has appendicitis, proving to be a useful tool for worried parents and medical practitioners alike. The jump test works on the principle that appendicitis causes inflammation in the abdominal cavity, which in turn makes it painful to walk or jump. So, if a child is unable to jump due to severe discomfort or pain, it could be a sign of appendicitis. However, it's important to bear in mind that this test isn't foolproof. It has a success rate of about 70%. That means, while it can be a good first step, it should never replace a proper medical diagnosis. Other symptoms of appendicitis can include pain in the right lower quadrant when pressure is applied to the left lower quadrant and an increase in pain when pressure is released from the appendix. So if a child exhibits these symptoms, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Apart from the jump test, other methods of diagnosing appendicitis include blood and urine tests, as well as imaging tests like ultrasounds, Connecticut scans, or MRIs. These tests provide a more accurate diagnosis and help doctors determine the best course of treatment. Interestingly, Appendicitis is sometimes misdiagnosed as constipation. It can also be overlooked in about 4 to 15 percent of children and 6 to almost 24 percent of adults during an emergency room visit. This underscores the importance of being aware of the symptoms and seeking immediate medical attention if appendicitis is suspected. In summary, the jump test can be a helpful tool in identifying possible appendicitis in children, but it's not always accurate. It should be used as a preliminary measure, followed by proper medical tests for a definitive diagnosis. Remember, appendicitis is a serious condition that requires immediate medical attention. So, if in doubt, it's always best to consult a healthcare professional. And that's a wrap on the jump test and how it aids in diagnosing appendicitis in children. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and always prioritize health.